What is up, my crazy, beautiful Verticonians? My name is Vertico, you can call me V, and welcome back to Minecraft Dinosaurs. So, we're going to continue building the Mosasaurus enclosure. I did an experiment off camera, um, specifically not in this world, but in my single player world. Um, and I checked. In fact, I'm sure you guys will forgive me for just showing you the experiment. Uh, so, if we use the light grey or even the dark grey glass like we did over in um, our main building, have a look at what happens. Oh, yeah. You can see that it's still quite dark and terrifyingly abyss abyssal, right? Okay, well what happens if we do it whilst we're underneath it? Now that is what I want to know. Okay, you can see the entire way up. Okay, so if we, which I will, uh, build a normal tunnel, same glass it's made of already, but also have something on the bottom, I'm thinking, like right down here, where it's all dark and scary, build a lovely little section where we can see the entire way up, and we will be able to see our Mosasaurus without any obstructions also for those that are curious oh, fact i got right uh for those that are curious why there is no face cam uh we are oh, those caps locks on uh that we are currently experiencing a heat wave in the uk and this oh, i can get rid of that oops um eh, pitui. um we're experiencing a heat wave so i am currently 85 percent sweat and shine right now <laughs> I don't want to have to make you guys see that, but more than that, because I can wipe myself down before I record and, you know, during it when I do cuts and whatnot, but that's not an issue. What the other issue is, is while I was playing D&D &D the other night, it was so warm at 10 o'clock at night that my um, camera overheated, and it doesn't overheat lightly. So it should put it into perspective. Um, I was only running for two hours or so, and... If I, which I am, I'm going to be doing more than one episode in a recording, uh, in a sitting now. That will overheat, so I might turn it on for the second episode I record. <laughs> but for today's episode, you've just got unadulterated, full screen Minecraft. And I know I like, I like the web, the face cam, because you know, it's a little bit more personal, you know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, five. Is that enough to do this per section? One, two, three. Yes. Okay, now we need to get this out. Lovely. Get the next, you know, let's get the next couple of stacks because we might actually run out. Uh, that was something I was supposed to do off camera, get more, but I will do a jump cut if we require more. Don't you worry. I'm also going to hope to cut some of this out so you don't have to see every painstaking step. But this is proof more than anything that when I do something like this, I don't go the easy route and just go and creative because as much easier as that would be, there's something, that, you know, as, as much easier, as easier as that would be. Uh, there's something quite therapeutic about doing it like this. Um, like getting the ingredients are also quite a thing that's quite therapeutic. Because I mean, like getting cobblestone, you just got to break a load of things. Like I'll probably go over there. Because <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this is every piece of cobblestone I have in my base, by the way. So um, that's an interesting dilemma. Stop it with the torches. Okay. Grab you. Yeah, that torch is going down to oblivion. It's fine. I also uh, should probably check out for sharks. There was one swimming quite close by, but I dealt with it before the video. A couple of uh, arrow shots and it's gone. Doesn't help that they live in water, which of course means that the fire um, enchantment doesn't really get a chance to proc or do much. So it's like, ah, well, that, that that's a problem. But, you know, we, we live and we learn. <laughs> I also think, oh, craggy. Um... We're going to get to a point where I'm going to have to go really deep down and then come up. So we're going to use a lot of cobblestone. Um, not just yet, though. So we're going to go like this. I think we're going to run out whilst we do this one. I am not going to lie to you. Probably not going to get the entire way. Stop it with the torches. I'm running low on them now. <laughs> I had like 31 or 32 when we started. I don't help myself, to be fair. Um, but yeah, we are getting dangerously low on these uh, cobblestone, so we will probably have to do a jump cut not too long from now. And I might, even when we get back, once I've got the cobblestone, show you um, 
like progress because I might not make you watch it all. How great would that be? But I want to try and finish the enclosure in this episode so that I got the out thing. So in the next episode, we can build the tunnel, which means I say I'm going to record two today. It quite literally depends. Oh, six cobblestone. Oh, yay. Can I at least get... Let's just do this quickly. Oh, just stop it. Um, it literally depends on my ability <laughs> to... Oh, God. You guys came out of nowhere. Um, so they're clearly still spawning, which isn't great. Oh, and you came out of nowhere. Fantastic. Um, so we do have uh, to get cobblestone. And off camera, I have to get sand. And I think I've got loads of those blue flowers or whatnot that turn into light gray. So we are fine. We are literally absolutely fine. So it's not like we're going to go into any problems. <laughs> Um, in regards to the glass, maybe I will need some sand. Um, I probably should get ready for that as well. So what I'm going to do is we are going to do a jump cut. And I am going to acquire sand and stone. <laughs> we're back in a moment. We're back. And it's been... Let me check my phone. Oh, oh an hour and a half. Wow, close to the hour 45. Um, there's a lot of sand in the furnaces right now and in a chest um there's a lot of cobblestone in my inventory i would like to show you what i had to do to get this the sand is a little bit further away because i didn't want to make it look ugly close to where we are <laughs> so we won't quite go that distance but i will show oh you absolute scrotum right um we will show oh my god i killed so many of you why are there so many more I need to update the mod. Oh, that was something I was going to do. And hopefully they fixed them. Oh, we'll do that. We'll do that, I think, next video. That might be something for the next video. Uh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Don't know why I'm surprised, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get me. Blah, blah, blah. Um, God, they are a pestilence, aren't they? Come on. Nearly there, but I want to show you. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, God. Save me power of friendship. I don't need that anymore. Charlie 72 will do the job. <sighs> I want to show the peeps what I had to de deconstruct. I think it's quite funny because I'm pretty sure you would have seen it in uh, just before I started deconstructing because I was showing you where I was looking at. I'll just die. Chine. Oh, there's another one over there as well, but screw you. Oh, you did die. Um, I don't suppose you've noticed something quite different. Do you notice how that used to be significantly taller and there used to be a second peak? Well, not anymore. <laughs> I got loads of dirt and I just threw it in the ocean. Got snow too, also threw it in the ocean. Um, where the Lyoplerodons are, funnily enough. So hopefully they're like dirt or snow because that's all they're getting from me right now after their constant murderous antics. Uh, that looks like a problem. Doesn't it? That's more of a problem. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Where are you? This is terrifying. Hello, buddy. Yeah. Come around here and you get flapped. You get flapped. Are oh, you absolute? I will eat you in front of you. Stop it. Where's the other ones? I can tell there's more coming. This is um, going to be problematic, to be quite frank. Uh, I am going to have to just hurry along. Okay. Oh, that's a squid. Or is it a kid? I can't tell. Oh, okay. Eat. Torch up. Get some more O. Thank you. Get some more oxygen. Oh, God. This is pant fillingly terrifying. How far is my distance on my bow? I don't think it's that far. No. This is a very close quarters bow. These sharks are a problem, to be quite frank. I am starting to doubt we can get this done in this episode because of these stupid sharks. Um, I will update the mod. If it's not fixed, I'm going to keep the mod in. I'm going to ask the mod developers what is the ID for the sharks, and every now and then I will kill that ID. Screw off. 
Um, and if there's a way to mod them out of here permanently, I will, because I'm getting to the point that even if they're fixed, I'm so annoyed with them, I'm not going to use them ever again. You're going to kill me, aren't you? Yes, you are. God, I wish I knew your identity. Your ID, because if I knew their mob ID, it'd be simple as just typing slash kill, I think, mob ID or whatever. <laughs> not too dissimilar to SQL in that way. Or well, SQL, sorry. I think so, at least. Um, but I might just make a um, command block in creative, put it down, and then just because it's all caca what they're doing, um, and then we'll just make a little ritual out of it that I just pull the lever every now and then and kill them all. <laughs> How satisfying would that be? To me, very. Look how many there are. I think they can breed. And that's why they're spawning so freaking much. I don't like that because I've turned off their spawn. But if you let even just one of those filthy water rats survive, I'd just like to clarify in real life, I love sharks. I think they're an amazing animal. I think that they are given such a bad rep and um, or a bad rap and bad rep for that matter. And that we should do everything we should do to preserve them. However, in Minecraft, these things are rats. <laughs> like, no, that's, that's a bad thing to rats, because rats are cute. And you can get rat mods in Minecraft, and they're good. So I rescind that. They are pests, okay? That is a very broad term. There we go. Water pests. Oversized guppies. I hate you so much. I'm just going to just try and rush this, because they're going to come for me. They're going to come for me. Where are they? They're not coming for me. Oh, have you grown a conscience? Oh, that would have been too much to ask for, wouldn't it? Stay away. Stay away from me. <laughs> Please. The power of friendship. Save me. Oh, God. Stop it. Oh, there's another one joining the fight. This is highly unfair, I'd like to say. I am grossly outnumbered. You know what? Let's just quickly pull out old Charlie. Because I'm pretty sure I can hit you from this distance. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you don't like that, do you? Absolute nightmares. Right. Anything close by? This is where I see a liar pleurodon just hit me at the speed of light. And I will literally uh, defecate myself. I wouldn't lie to you. My thalassophobia is a real thing. It's uh, quite overwhelming in some cases. Um... Don't get me wrong, I will go into open water in real life, like I've been there, but in the UK, so it's not like I'm exactly uh, in the most riskiest of situations, I can't deny that. Okay, sharks, check. Hey, you two are pretty close. How would you like to become flambéed? It's so warm. I was thinking about turning the camera on for the second um, video. I'm not doing that. I I'm currently like, I look like I've gone for a swim. <laughs> I've got a damp um, flannel to my right that I can dab myself with, which is just, oh, I've run out of cobblestone. No wonder I'm just going through torches. Um, that honestly is a godsend, and I would recommend it to anyone if you're feeling the heat. Oh, it's just so good. Um, obviously, don't make it ice cold, because you want to give yourself cold shock and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, the problem I have is, though, currently... We are making so little progress because of these uh, guppies. So, no, because guppies are cute. Oh, I can't call them anything without feeling like I'm insulting something else. What don't I like? You water spiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that just plays into another fear. Could you? Oh, God, no, Corey. Don't start imagining eldritch horror spiders at the bottom of the ocean, please. For philosophobia and arachnophobia will thank you. <laughs> To not a man, it's too late. They're in my head now. They're terrifying. I can confirm. Um, I would not recommend thinking about them. In fact, I would definitely not recommend thinking about spiders that are about eight stories tall, underwater, in deep water, for that matter, that you can see, but very barely. You just see their silhouette and their faces come into view because, my God, I'm terrifying myself the more I speak about it. But you, you, you get the picture. Come on. There's not a single person alive that wouldn't tell me that's terrifying. I love massive creatures. I think, like, um, kaiju and behemoths are always interesting to discuss, okay? Um, but when it comes to spider ones, I, I think, personally, there's a reason that nukes are still around, and um, I'm all for nuclear disarmament, but just keep a few, just in case we get giant spiders. That's my only request. Aha, uh -huh, you can't swim over this now. You can't get me. <laughs> oh, for the love of all things, holy. <sighs> 
There we go. Oh, you... Oh. <laughs> so you have chosen death. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Oh. One shot, one kill. Oh, you absolute... My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Now you must die. Just die. Thank you. Fun fact. Um, well, I uh, used to always... Whenever I'm psyching myself up to deal with a spider, when we had the spider ones, which you can catch them and then release them, you know, humanely. Um, we now use a glass and uh, paper because we can't find the wand or the wand got busted or something. Anyway, um, I used to always like put it out like in a fencing position and go, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. <laughs> just to psych myself up, just to clarify. And it was stupid, but it worked. Uh, eventually like it took me like 30 utterances of that to even consider a house spider so you know <laughs> hey hey i never said i was brave all right i think those of you that have been long enough to remember me playing five nights at freddy's know that i am not what we call a brave person in fact i'm what they call in the business a bit of a coward <laughs> i don't do well with horror games um which is why i, I feel like a lot of you would probably be entertained by the concept of me trying to play a horror game and probably not even like exaggerating this point what the hell was that accent i was doing that it's like sounding quite poor <laughs> not even exaggerating when i say um i do i do scare i do scream and i really do get close to peeing okay i have a weak bladder so it's, it's if, essentially if i'm gonna play them i might invest in uh, adult diapers who knows who knows <laughs> Oh, God, how much more is this going to be? Oh, for the love, why are you this far down? You're supposed to be on the surface. You really are a pest. I hate you so much. I need oxygen. Great. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Bippity boopity. Go away. Yeah. Oh, you're not so big now, are you? Come back. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, you're not so big, are you? Right. Oh, stop it with the torches. I need them for oxygen and to be able to see and to apparently ward the sharks towards me because they need to know that there's a beacon for food. <sighs> These sharks, you know, y you gotta be, you gotta understand what I'm going through here. Like, they are annoying, right? <laughs> I'm not just saying that, I'm not just thinking that. I'm not getting so warm that my irritability is coming very frequent. Uh, I'm pretty sure at some point I'm just going to turn green and turn into the Hulk and just my computer is going to be gone just because of these sharks. I think I might try and update the mod off camera. We'll see how tragically that goes. I will back up the world first. I think that's probably the best solution. I love watching the torch just fall down because it have a, has ambient lighting as it goes down. It's just brilliant. Oh, yeah, right. Speaking of which. Boop. Um, oh. Oh, I should be seeing some sharks right now. Why aren't I seeing some sharks? Ah, there is one. I hate this. Why is it so... Why is it so dark? Oh, because it's nighttime. Wow, in that case, this is haunting. Guys, come on, I can't be the only one who thinks. Look, just... <laughs> okay, if I look at the wall, it's not real. Um, okay. I kind of want to get out. <laughs> I know there's sharks in every direction, but I can't see them. <laughs> okay, we're just going to edge ourselves over to this wall, because there's a shark right there, so if we can get behind the wall, we're going to be all right. There's loads of sharks up there. So we kind of want to be pretty quick, Corey. Um, and onto land, and I got bit in the buttocks. Wow. That was rude. I guess it's uh, time for you to die. I'm, I'm starting to realise now why the monsters and creepers weren't spawning. Because of these. They are taking up so much of the natural spawns that the creatures like the creepers and the skeletons don't coexist, apparently. Come on, I'm standing here as bait so that I can lure out any sharks. Is it actually worse that I've got that in my hand? I feel like it was. I was getting a lot more glare. Should I go underwater now? No, no, we shouldn't. Uh, we should, however, take pot shots at sharks and uh, do a jump cut once it's daytime again. I think that's an excellent idea. 
And we're back. I just wanted to check that the Mosasaurus is fine, alive. It is. Of course, there's an archaeology one that is. Let's see if we can get a better look at it rather than just being a silhouette. It was over here, right? That's a shark. Where have you gone? There it is. Just about see it. You guys probably can't because of compression from these videos, but let's have a look. Let's see if we can get a clearer image. Okay, there's the silhouette still. You can only see the silhouette. Wow. Okay, well, that's all we're getting for now. But it's alive. That's the important thing. These pests haven't killed it. Oh, I can kill more of you now. How grand. Yeah. Take this. <laughs> they're going to get to the point that they're going to cause the server to lag again, so I really do need to check, actually. I, can, I think I'm in the Discord. I just killed a bunch over here. They're just spawning still. I don't think they're even breeding. I just think they're spawning. Oh, I don't know. And, oh, look, look at this. Right where I need to be. Oh, God. That's a silhouette from nightmares. Oh, I should probably equip this again, right? Yeah, still hell all over there, so. <laughs> we are going to finish this. I don't care if I have to finish it off camera, but I will. But I want to finish it in this episode because this freaking shark. Oh, problem is a problem. How You haven't smelt me from over there, have you? I'm not bleeding, so you best not have. Absolute cretin. Oh, you have, though. Hi, mate. How you doing? What's the weather like? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Now die. Thank you. Thank you for dying. What about you? You want something? No, but another one spawned. How grand. Um, I will check to see if they fix shark spawns um, in the Discord in later versions, because I don't even know what version I'm running right now. Actually, I'm running 1.0. Oh, well, that's why a lot of things wouldn't have been ironed out, you moron, Corey, because it's the, it's not even like a 1.1, 1.1a, it's 1.0. Now, had you used your brain, <laughs> you'd realise that of course there's going to be problems, such as an abundance of sharks. So, I'm, once again, I'm not giving these guys any discredit or, you know, bad-mouthing, I'm drowning. Bad mouthing them because they've done an exceptional job with this mod. It's just more the case that I hate, I hate, not them, the sharks. <laughs> They're feeding into my thalassophobia. They're making me have to watch out in the water, which I usually wouldn't mind if there are a rare occurrence. It adds to more suspense rather than going, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's 12 more. It's just, I don't know. So I'm, if, see if it's been fixed. If it has, I will ask for the ID to kill them and then I will turn the spawn back on. Um, though I don't know if that's going to make a difference. We'll ask for their um, mob ID just so I can kill them. <sighs> so, there's that. And we will make a little, ri like, a ritual out of it. Every time we go towards water, we'll just go and make a ritual out of the great shark sacrifice. Because that sounds fantastic. And I think we're going to probably be able to finish this off with the cobblestone we've got. I've got a little bit more in the chest back at home because I wanted to save some for another project, but I'm thinking we may not have that option, to be quite frank. Um, we'll see. We will see. I think we should have enough. I think we should have enough. In fact, I'm just going to do this. Do you reckon it's worth it? Just building it up by one block? Probably not, right? At least two would have made sense. Don't you think? Oh, you... I could tell that I wasn't drowning because I saw my bubbles and I saw the fact that I got pushed. So I could tell it was one I use. Now, there's one less fish in the ocean. Plenty of fish in the sea, they say. I personally am finding in Minecraft there's too many. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Keep going. Right, let's go by two this time. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, I'm not going to keep saying one, two, one, two, one, two, because what's the point? <laughs> you know how to count. I know how to count. Um, well, debatable. I sometimes, in fact, no, I'm quite good at maths. Okay, I know the Americans call it math, um, which is understandable because you are literally shortening it from mathematics. I don't know why we call it maths. But I guess it kind of makes sense too. I don't know. I think both versions make sense, um, personally. Like, once again, and a lot of stuff comes down to American lingo and English lingo, but a lot of people say, well, football isn't soccer, it's football in the UK. And they forget the fact that 
the people who called it soccer first was us. Well, maybe not us directly, but it it comes from association, so a uh, soccer football, because we created association football and the other type of football, I can't remember what it used to be called, which then later became rugby. So, yeah, it's kind of us on us. <laughs> you also have, um, like, like, it's true roots of football and rugby, which is mob football, which is just fascinating. Um... I think something similar to that actually still goes on today. It's quite interesting. Um, it's not exactly directly the same, but it's just wild. <laughs> um, oh, we haven't been attacked by a shark in a while. We're going to be. I'm not going to lie. Probably the next time we go over here, we're probably going to be attacked. Um, there's a squid there. Thank God you can't attack. And thank God we're not on hardcore mode. Otherwise, I'd be screaming and crying by now. Well, probably wouldn't have made it past the first episode, actually. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, we're nearly done. We're nearly done. Oh, come off it. <laughs> Can't you let a man celebrate in peace? We are so close to being done. I'm going to murder you. And you see that straggler over there? I assume that's your mate. Oh, he's getting it too. He's getting it too. I'm becoming a psychopath in this game. It's the heat. It's the heat and the damn sharks. They're doing this to me. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? You're thinking, what did I do wrong? Well, your friends attacked me. I mean, I saw you come for me before I even pulled my first arrow on you. Why are you taking so much? Are you fueled by revenge? Is this what's happening? That should kill you. There we go. Yeah, revenge doesn't stop an arrow, my friend. <laughs> revenge doesn't stop an arrow. Okay, let's get rid of this mess up. Beautiful. Okay, we are so close to finishing this enclosure. I know it can be done now. Stop it with the torches! I can do it from above. Oh, you pain. Die. 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 Thank you. I know it can be done now. We can finish it. We can finish it in this episode. <laughs> and then I can start thinking about the viewing. Oh, you absolute... I said I could finish it in this episode. I will. Um, it's just going to take a little bit longer than we hoped because there's sharks literally everywhere. Oh, yeah, we got more than enough. I don't mind going all four because we've still got like two stacks and 11 and this won't even take a full stack, I reckon. Mm, maybe it will. Um, but it won't take the full amount we've got, so that's fine. Right, have you been aggroed yet? Any other aggro? No, okay, it's just you. You've not aggroed yet, so let's just go ahead and sort that out before you do. Oh, you've already aggroed. Yeah, they're beating like that, did you? That's not tasty. Yeah, that's what you get for thinking I'm food. Right, let's use you up. You see 11 up. Uh, go and boop, and back to here. Well oiled machine. Would you look at that? Oh, I wanted to actually place down a torch. There we go. Look at that, we're finished. We have built the enclosure after, I think, uh, I'm being quite liberal with this statement but i think it's around 30 stacks of cobblestone which means like 2000 blocks give or take of cobblestone i could be very very wrong on that matter um but i'm pretty sure it was about 30 stacks of cobblestone <laughs> give or take maybe a little bit less than that but you get the point there's sharks that's just out sprint them it's fine can't get me on land can you well you can if i'm close to the water i'm aware of that but screw you <laughs> We have, oh my god. I I need that kill ID because killing the, oh. Just had a loud crack in here. Something just cracked under the heat and I don't know what it was. Don't like that. Hello? What is cracked? I don't know. All I know is it's very warm in here. We are going to end the video. Um, I'm happy with that. We've got, oh, for the love of all things, holy, just stop. We have got the Mosasaurus enclosure done which is amazing. Um, we need to sort out the viewing closure, but before that, I'm going to update the mod and check on my Discord to see if it's all sorted. I do need to get somewhere uh, like the house just so I don't get attacked by creepers and stuff, but they probably won't spawn because of the amount of sharks we currently are facing. And there's the Dryosaurus just coming in for a quick little nip just to add to my problems. <sighs> Keith, mate, it's, it's been a long day. Hasn't it? <laughs>
<laughs> so thank you all for, so much for watching. If you haven't enjoyed today's video, please make sure you do smash the like button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and request a video comment. That's super duper appreciated. So many of you that aren't subscribed that watch my videos are uh, quite regularly as well. Um, you know, it's free. You can always click the subscribe button. If you don't want to, I'm not going to force you, but I really would appreciate it. Um, a little bit of a minor um, nugget of news for you. Um, I am thinking about releasing merch, not right now, um, in the future. Um, and I don't want to really give anyone any spoilers, but it will be something that you want, at least something I would want to wear. I don't really like what a load of people do with their um, merch and they just release their faces on it or their logos and stuff. And I don't know, to me, I, I wouldn't wear that. Like, it's got to be, you know, something you'd wear. And if some people will want to wear that, and I will not judge anyone for so, but something like Beaver does some really good merch. Like, at the end of the day, he is, like, in my eyes, he's, like, the absolute S tier, like, of just good merch. So st I really want to do something um, that can at least be wearable. <laughs> and I think it will be. I've got a few ideas in mind, and uh, I'd like to say that they are at least wearable. So they, they will come in the future. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about it closer to the time. But thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and ta-ra!